So now that we have hit over 900 subscribers, I thought it would be fun to take a trip down memory lane since we've been making videos for over 10 years on this channel. Most of them not very successful. So sit back, relax, and let us dive on in to some old school Avery that didn't know what the hell he was doing. Destroy the ever living crap out of that subscribe button so that we can get to 900. Well, we're already at 900. So that we can reach our goal of 1,000 subscribers. So as you can see here on the screen, we're gonna be looking at some old videos of mine. Some of these are private just cause they were just bad takes. They were really bad videos. Uh, but the majority of these are uh, still public on the channel. So if you look at your screen here, you'll see the title of it. I figured that we would start with my most popular view, something that was known as Yu-Gi-Oh! Vines on, uh, on YouTube a long time ago. That's how far we're going back with this. This was December 8th, 2013. So this is the height of the Dragon Ruler format, our most popular video, and it's eight seconds long. Dragon Ruler players be like. Dragon Ruler players be like. Special summon? Special summon? Special summon? Six cents draw six, herp derp return for game? Dragon Ruler players. Oh my lord, it's only eight seconds, but yet it's the most popular because it's like everybody's got time to watch eight seconds. But it was true because it was just summon, 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 six cents, draw six, herp derp return for game. Like, that's what it was. And it's, it's still hilarious to me that this is my most popular video. Like, even after all these years, 20,081. Although, I do think that that Mystic Mind video that we have up on the channel is going to surpass. It's at over 8,000 views after a couple of days. So if it keeps up on the trend, that, that, that video is going to explode like a power level out of DBZ. Next up here is the Yu-Gi-Oh! YCS Toronto 2013 Top 4 Blackwing deck profile. This is my second most popular video. So back in the day, if you're a huge veteran of the channel, then God bless you because you've been through a lot of shit on this channel. Um... I was known for doing very fast deck profiles on the channel. And the concept was, was that if I'm really fast with it, then the video's short, therefore I get more watch time, I get more views, I get more subscribers. And it worked for a while. Like I got maybe a couple hundred subs by doing that. And it just eventually fell off. And then I ended up quitting YouTube for like the 10th time or whatever it was and just kind of stopped uploading. I got bored of it. Um, I wasn't really seeing any growth. Um, and so this was the YCS Toronto 2013 Top 4 Blackwing deck profile. And at the time, excuse me, Blackwings were not topping a Dragon Ball format. This was the one top that they got, and it was insane to see because they were on a run to win this YCS in the midst of Spellbooks and Dragon Rulers being Tier 0. Um, and it's actually funny because I actually had to delete a comment on this video, I remember years ago, because there was a guy that had commented who went to my high school who had graduated like a couple years ahead of me. He goes, oh, hey, I know this guy. I went to school with him. Well, one, I don't want people knowing that this guy personally knows me. Two, that person that made that comment went to jail for, I think, like beating up his girlfriend or something. I don't even remember the dude's name, but allegedly, like, he had gone to jail. So, like, I deleted his comment, blocked him, everything. So, I'm like, shit, like, I don't, I don't need this dude on here, you know? So, anyway. This is us trying to, I guess, get views. Many deck profiles to do, so I'm just gonna like run right through this one. This is the Blackwing Toronto Top Four. You can barely hear me, so uh, I use a headset at the time from a computer program called Dragon Naturally Speaking, and what it was was like it looked like I was working at like a fucking McDonald's drive-through. Like you put the headset on and your your little like microphone thing right here, and. Uh, you had to talk, like, fairly loud to get a good enough, like, recording for this. It kind of got the job done, I guess. Uh, I used screencastomatic.com and, like, downloaded the program and just started screen capping my screen for free. Because uh, I think at the time Windows didn't have that. Uh, now we have the game bar and we can just use that, right? Um, and so... I used this headset for years. Uh, of course, the Dragon Naturally Speaking thing wasn't really that helpful because it didn't always get every single word. It was like Siri before Siri, even though Siri was already a thing in 2013. So anyway, that's, that's um, what it shout was. Shout out to the Akuma guy that I gave a shout out to in my last video. I wish I knew his full name or else I'd give him a shout out. Uh, he has a, a bunch of deck profiles, so I'm definitely going to be getting them from him as quick as I can. I may not be the first one to post these, but I will definitely have them up. 20 uh, seconds in, I still haven't said anything. Anyways, let's jump right into this Blackwing deck because I know a lot of people want to see it. 25 two seconds Marcos, in, Shiro, three Kalu, one Vayu, two Blizzard, three Bora, one Gale, one Zephyrus, one Dark Arm, three Max C. That's all the monsters. Spells. Three. So I'm not even going through the cards. If you look here, like it's just stuck on Key Beetle. I'm not going through the cards. So I took, I think, someone's screenshot 
And that's how I did it. Duality, three war one, one card supply, feathers, Although one warrior, one book of moon, two mirror force, three Icarus, one torrential, one bottomless, one warning, two Phoenix chain, and a deck Debbie. Side deck, three MST, three light prison mirror, three imperial iron wall, two deck Debbie, two banning sentence, and two starlight rope. Extra deck, start a strike. You can barely hear my ass, like real talk. Crows, armed wing, the HTS thingamabobber. Ally just a bobber, or... uh, Blackwing, Graham the Shining Star, Diamond Dyer, Cowboy, Lawful Chain, Best Dweller, and Master Key Beetle. Ladies and gentlemen, boy, I'm fast. <laughs> this is the boy, I'm fast. And of course, you look at the comments, it's like, congrats to the winner, Blackwing, officially back. Uh, Vanny's Emptiness, make a lock with Key Beetle. What's the card in the side deck after deck dev? Uh, this guy, yeah. Big Bruce 94, shout out to our homie Derek. Slow down, man. A three minute views. Okay, words of advice. Dude, just talk just a tad slower. Oh my god, it's so, so cringe, so cringe. So this, th this is the creme de la creme. This is, this is the content you're going to find on this channel. <laughs> July 11th, 2010, player interview with Derek Kingsley, aka okay, Big Bruce 94. As we're about to see, it's not a, it's not a player interview. Also ignore what looks like punches and holes in the wall behind us. This was one of our locals uh, that basically we had the locals in what was basically like a glorified back closet. And, uh, yeah, it just, God, it was, that side of town is still a ghetto to this day. <laughs> Alright, so we got deck profile here with Derek Kingsley, a.k.a. Big Bruce 94. So I can't do this. God, the camera quality is liquid ass. I remember I was using, like, a white Kodak camera that shot in, like, what is this, 240p? 480. Okay, I'm sorry, Kodak. You make better cameras back in 2010 than I thought. I didn't have a smartphone at this time, and if I did, the smartphone I had was terrible. Uh, also, that's the face of a fucking champion right there. Just that's that's a champion. <laughs> and so uh, it's just that's what I used to record my videos. Like I didn't do a lot of deck profiles with people because my camera was ass. I really had no way to make videos back then, back during this time. I shouldn't have been making videos. I just I wanted to be cool. I wanted to be popular. What have you been running? Uh, I've been running a Herald of Perfection. Uh, really good deck. I urge you to try it out. Um, practically when you get Herald of Perfection out and you have enough hand advantage, you're going to win the game. Who's your pro player that's your inspiration? Uh, obviously Jeff Jones, who I'm playing Herald of Perfection, but I've loved his decks ever since the, uh, Dark Skill Drain. When he invented Dark Skill Drain, I think it was a Shonen Jump and he won it. So back then, you know, of course, you didn't have YouTube and all that. Like, YouTube was a thing in 2010, but you didn't have all these people doing YouTube at the time. So a lot more things were secretive until they actually topped. And Jeff Jones was a very big innovator at this time in Yu-Gi-Oh! So, like, he topped with, like, a dark arm, dark skill drain deck and won a Shonen Jump championship with it. So still, to this day, a very good pro player. I don't know if he still plays, but... For, for the time, he was a very good player. Still is to this day, if he still plays. Uh, like his quick draw build, and I like Harold Perfection build. Did you so, net deck this? Um, a little bit of his neck deck. Well, the main body of it is. I have a few set cards in it. I mean, it might not. It's really good. You can hear my dad in the background say, you got change here? They had vending machines there, and some guy left his change in the uh, in the vending machine. Let's see if you can hear it. <laughs> uh, <laughs> Thank God you didn't get that on camera. <laughs> <laughs> uh, one of my tech cards, Relinquished. Uh, you got change here? It's really good. <laughs> you got change here? Good. I mean, it might not look good because it's not a fairy and I can't discard it, but this card is amazing. I urge you to test it out. It is awesome. No, nah, we're not going to test it out. This is 2010. We're not uh, we're not looking to do a casual play. Sorry. Uh, net deckers. <laughs> love That's not a net decker. No, I'm saying that people are going to buy oh, net deck those oh, well, like me. The main like me, bro. My God, I sound like sound like my ultra ball hasn't dropped yet. If you catch my drift, Lord have mercy. Just as fun. Are you a happy lover? Yes. Oh my God. <laughs> <laughs> that is. That is the face of a chain. Three fairies. Uh, for Rancher Troller, two lover. If I had Happy Lover, I'd play it. But Mystic Shine Ball works just as fine. Are you a Happy Lover? Yes. That is the face of a champion. <laughs> oh, Billy. That is the face of a champion, Derek. That, that's, that's the face of a Mr. Steal Your Girl right there. So, with that being said, let's go ahead and jump to November 2nd, 2011. This is how to prepare for a Reginal Yu-Gi-Oh! So I, I guess I'm preparing you for a prostate exam. I'm going to say is um, have your deck, obviously. You need to have your deck. You need to no shit. 
you want to prepare for a Yu-Gi-Oh! regional. You need to have your deck. <laughs> what, what, what was I thinking? Like, this is so garbage. This is terrible. Like, Lord have mercy. So, back in the day, back in like 2010, 2011, whenever I made videos at my house and I wasn't using that dog shit Kodak camera, uh, my mom had what was called like a netbook or an ebook or something. You could probably find them on like fucking make a wish for like or whatever that website's it's called wish for like two dollars and change they're these really tiny like super thin laptops that like overheated like if you farted on it like it, it overheated like so easily and uh the webcams were like this big like little dot they were liquid ass as you can see like what is this 144p this is 360p get the fuck out that's youtube upscaling it that shit did not do no 360. um and so I used that to, like, make videos at the time and do discussions and things. I didn't give a shit, like, about my spelling. I didn't give a shit about capitalization. Uh, enjoy link to second channel. I don't even have correct punctuation. I don't even have the link. Like, Jesus Christ. No likes. Probably, like, two dislikes because people are like, this is awful. Um, so I would use that netbook to make my videos. Like, no thumbnails, no nothing. Just raw upload the shit. No takes. Just one take and, and whatever. And, like... I need a haircut. I don't got no facial hair. Like, now look at me. Like, I, this is a sexy mug right here. Probably not. But any ladies out there watching Shadow Rabbit Yu-Gi-Oh, you ever divorce your husband? Like, I, I don't know. I'm kidding. I'm kidding. I'm not trying to sound like a player. You need to have your deck box. And, you, you, and always, always double check everything. Like, double check. Make sure you have your deck. Double check to make sure that you have the extra deck. Double check to make sure that you have a side deck. And be sure that you have the form that you can write out or type out. That says your deck list and everything. Always double. I, I do agree with that. Like that, to that to this day, that's still true. Like, why the fuck are you writing out your deck list last minute? Like, unless you like just like got drunk the night before and now you're gonna go play Yu-Gi-Oh. Like, type that shit out the night before. It's so much easier. Literally, I won a random mat drawing. Well, my dad did because my dad typed up both our deck lists. And the head judge goes, "I'm literally giving this to this person because they were the only one that typed out their deck list out of that whole regional. Everybody else wrote their shit. Just type it. Double check, even triple check everything, and um. You know, just just do stuff like that, just so that you know that you have your stuff. Um, this is kind of like what not to do at a Yu-Gi-Oh regional kind of moment. But it says how to prepare for a regional. <laughs> like, what? It's so bad. It's so bad. Play the game together, which is a lot of fun in my opinion. Um, if you guys kind of want to rant on me for that and call me a little kid, whatever. I mean, I'm 15. I've got a permit, so screw you. <laughs> what? I have a permit, so screw you. <laughs> yeah, screw you, bro. I got a permit. I got a license, bitch. <laughs> I forgot about this part. Oh, my God. Like, I, I, I scrolled through these videos to, like, make sure, like, they weren't super cringe, but I, I didn't scroll to this part. Um, And my roommate, a lot of people have been asking me about that. My roommate was a different person, okay? So for all you idiots that were saying my roommate is my father, that is not true. My roommate was somebody else who's in college why am i talking about this okay whatever i just i went on like a bunch of tangents i guess back in the day so uh th there was actually a friend of mine who was uh several years older than me he was in college so he was staying in my room and i was upstairs however i did say when i first started doing youtube that i had a teammate well that teammate was my dad I just said teammates. I didn't want to say my dad. Now we have people like Jeff Leonard who play with their kids, and it's cool. But back then, like people made fun of me, like, "Oh, you and your dad play together." So, like, I'm going on a random tangent here. I was supposed to be telling you how to prepare for a regional, which we're gonna assume is a regional, unless it's a it's a vaginal exam. Like, okay, so get it through your thick skull that you freaking retards who are saying my roommate is my father. It what? is not. That was somebody different. We were letting him stay at my house for like a week. And then he went back to college because his parents were moving to, like, Virginia or something. I don't know. So for those of you who were saying that uh, my roommate was my father, there. What? So what? I just kind of had to get that off my chest. And uh, now, <laughs> continuing on, <laughs> um, so um, I walk. How can we continue on after you just, like, went on a rant, like... Okay, like, they're making fun of you. Fuck them. Like, who cares? Tell me how to prepare for this vaginal. Do I need some cream? Do I need to type up a necklace for vaginal? <laughs> oh, my lord, I forgot about that. Okay, now, let's get to the creme de la creme. So this is this is the one private one. All the other ones are public. Um, this is rant on stupid Yu-Gi-Oh! anti-meta crap garbage with, like, a thousand exclamation points. So I remember this video like it was yesterday. My dad and I had just got done playtesting. Of course, he's playing fucking Chamber. And uh, 
I ended up like getting pissed off that I lost, so I come in to make this rant. Now, let's look at what the meta was. Plant Synchro. What was the other freaking thing? Um, Frog Monarch. Then you look at the anti-meta. We have Shame Burn. Takes no skill, by the way. And then the fourth deck, straight up anti-meta. Gale, Banisher, Thunder King, Fossodyne. All that. Could you imagine if I'm getting this pissed off about Chamber? Could you imagine if Mr. Wire was around back then? I would have punched my head through a wall. That bullcrap. All that fucking bullshit. Uh oh, he said fucking. He said fucking. No, it's fucking. <laughs> I still cared about what my parents said. It's like, nah. Fuck, fuck, fuckity, fuck. Shitty, fuck, fuck, fuck. It's so retarded. I was just. You know, something interesting just about the word retarded in general, it's very much frowned upon now. Back in 2011, like, everybody said it. Like, it's just not a word that's really said anymore. I just I just think that that's interesting. I'm testing with my teammate, Fourth Matrix, who runs nothing but the freaking anti-meta bull. My dad at the time had a YouTube channel called Fourth Matrix. He used to upload from time to time. He doesn't have it anymore. Crap. Which is why I don't even like playtesting him anymore. Because it's freaking ridiculous. And then I have to go on Dueling Network, and I have to deal with stupid Italian retards. I was a little shit. I was a douchebag. Oh my god. I forgot about that part. So, I love you Italians. Don't don't take any hate to that. This was uh, December 20th, 2011. I was born in 1996. So this is 15-year-old little shit me. That's changed a lot. Th that was 10 years ago. <laughs> I'm 25 now, almost 26. So I love you Italians. Y'all got some good-ass food. Who don't even know how to even speak English. And then I practically have to put them off on the, my freaking like, webcam or something. Put the video on Facebook or some crap like that. Because they don't understand how to play the game. You people in, a, in Italy, for those of you who are watching this video, you were just retarded. Why would you solemn judgment in Gem Knight Fusion? Okay? Now here's the thing. If you run anti-meta, you are not a good player in this game. You are just running anti-meta to jerk off with yourself and to play solitaire. And because you rage quit against the meta, you think the Konami is completely retarded, which they are, I have to agree with that. But you play anti-meta just to piss other people off. And if you're just gonna play anti-meta, don't even go to locals. Just wait until like regionals or YCSs and playtest your decks on Dueling Network. Because no one wants to deal with anti-meta with Banisher. Gadget, Gale, Thunder King, Smashing, Summon Fossil Dino, Attack Your Monster, Response. No, I have no response, man. I'm gonna shrink your card. Who uses <laughs> shrink? shrink? Shrink has not been used since first. <laughs> we did that in unison. We're just. Who uses Shrink? That's hilarious. Working Teledad format, okay? Seriously. Like, you look at the decks that take no skill. Anti meta in general takes no skill. Gadgets. Machina gadgets take no skill. Offering gadgets can be somewhat autopilot. Okay? So there are some exceptions to that because I have ran that. And there are some exceptions because that does take somewhat skill. But if you're just running straight machine gadgets, oh, you already know skill player and you're just garbage and you just need to quit this game. If you're running chain burn, you are a garbage player. If you run regular burn, you are a garbage player. And yes, I know I just heard my door open up behind me. That is my teammate who's trying to open That's up the door head. because he's listening to me making this video. And he knows that I'm absolutely right 100% of the time. If you run plant synchro, you use the meta. Yes, I am talking about you, teammate. I know that you're talking about me. Oh, shit. And I know that you're going to probably make a video about this tomorrow. And that's why I'm calling you out on my own video. Okay, now, if you run burn, you have no, no skill. No, anti meta. No, anti meta sucks. Go. Go burn, you take no skill. Chain burn takes no skill. Plant synchro takes skill. Frogs, they take skill. Fish OTK used to take skill. Guys, I hope you enjoyed this walk down memory lane. That was freaking hilarious. Just bitching and moaning about anti-meta. And it's like, I play I played Brandon Eldritch and came in 27th place with a 60 card build and pissed people off on Mystic Mine and Floodgates. So, oh, we've come a long way from 2010, 2011, Ariel R32. So, guys, thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this little walk down memory lane. Feel free to go look at these videos. I mean, I've got so many videos on the channel now that I'm actually getting a following. Like, it's gonna be fun, I think, for uh, everybody to go back through those old videos and see, like, how things have kind of changed, and even just for entertainment, too. Plus, that'll also get my watch time up to 4,000 so that once I hit 1,000 subs, we can, you know, put some ads on the videos and, you know, help pay for my cancer bills. So, Guys, thank you so much for watching. I will see you in the next video.